I had to give uh, a lot of credit uh, to our fans today uh, for being here and supporting us the way that they did and couldn't have asked for a better day uh, weather-wise and the greatest rivalry in all of college baseball in front of a tremendous fan base. Um, also want to give credit uh, to Coach Mark Kingston, his staff, and their team today. Uh, what an unbelievable job of fighting back. Uh, we were up six to nothing, uh, and they kept chipping away, chipping away, put together uh, an unbelievable um, uh, top of the ninth inning there to tie the ball game off of, uh, off of Riley, who's one of the best in the business at the end of the game. Uh, just uh, what a heck of an effort uh, by the South Carolina Gamecocks to, to tie the game up after being down six to nothing. It says a lot about Mark Kingston and, and the job that he does of getting his guys to compete every pitch. Um, but how about our guys? Uh, you know, we just seem to find a way and I think, uh, you know, we're now 11, what is it, 11 games in. We've had six one-run games, and we're 5-1 and one in those games. So, um, you know, our guys compete pretty hard as well. Um, you know, the game got it started for us in the first inning. You know, I, I thought our guys did a really good job when it came to their offensive approaches against uh, Gilreath, who I think is going to be very, very good for them. Uh, really pounds the strike zone, keeps the ball down with a good change up. But we did a good job of using the whole field. Uh, Patrick Cromwell, uh, you know, oppo home run uh, to get things started for us. And I think the kind of swings that we took in the first inning kind of set the tempo for our offense. Cromwell had a heck of a day. Logan Davidson had a great day in the third inning. Logan got on with a walk. And then, uh, you know, we put together some good at bats. Chris Williams with a single RBI. Jolly ground ball RBI. Again, putting together team at bats, Cromwell in the fourth, we had four hits, Cromwell two strikes, um, you know, single, uh, two RBIs, Logan had another big home run late, and then Wharton in the ninth, you know, Robert Jolly deserves a lot of credit for drawing the walk right there, and, uh, you know, Wharton with two strikes on him, again, great offensive approach, using the whole field, hits the ball off the wall, and we find a way to get it done. So. Uh, what a heck of a rivalry series. Uh, glad to be able to get out of this one uh, with a series win here at home in front of a great crowd. I got a little excited there when that run was coming in. Uh, but it's what keeps you young. You know, that's why we do what we do. Uh, wear my emotions on my sleeve sometimes. But uh, I know I truly enjoyed it and will really enjoy uh, having the day off tomorrow. Uh, but we got to get ready for a big week. But uh, we finished this week with a huge win. Well, something I'm obviously just personally very proud of, but I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of our program. You know, I'm proud to be a part of a program uh, that's been able to do it uh, for three consecutive years. Well, really four consecutive years. It's been four years in a row uh, that we've won this series, and it's it's because of the competitive nature of our teams. Um, you know, playing team-oriented baseball. Um, but you know, this year in particular. Uh, you got to give Coach Kingston and his team a lot of credit, too. They made it. It was a hard-fought series, that's for sure. We're fortunate to come out with a series win. It's, a, it's definitely a we thing here. But I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of our program um, and what we've been able to do um, in, in winning this series. Uh, you know, for, for four years in a row and three since I've been here, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of. Uh, but, you know, again, we we got to enjoy it for a short amount of time, and we got to move on. we got a long season ahead of us. and. I uh, feel like, uh, you know, we're on the right path. Coach Floyd, did you think when you saw Jolly being waved in at third, did, did you pretty, pretty confident he would make it off? Well, I knew he was going to make it because the ball passed the right fielder twice. You know, that's one thing as an outfield coach, an old outfield coach, you know, we try to teach our guys in the outfield when the ball is hit over your head, don't let it pass you twice, you know, sometimes. But the game is moving so fast, you know, I know their right fielder is trying to make a play, that ball's hit on the line. Um, and, and you, you're trying to make a play, but you also, you know, you got to try to back off the wall when you know you can't make the play and play it off the wall. Uh, but when the ball passed him twice, I knew, you know, he was going to score. Uh, so, um, you know, it was it was exciting to watch. That's for sure. Well, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, that was, uh, you know, we were up seven to five. You know, going into the ninth inning and. and you know, again, give them credit for putting together some really good at bats. Uh, but, you know, we kept it tied right there and gave ourselves a chance. 
Um, and the message to our team is always the same. Um, you know, you got to find a way to win games in different ways. There's going to be days where, you know, pitching and defense wins the game for you, where the offense uh, can't get it going. There's days where we got to score. And uh, today was one of those days. I mean, we were a little bit uncharacteristic uh, when it came to pitching and defense today. I think we gave up nine free. Uh, between errors and walks, a little uncharacteristic of our ball club. But even when our pitching and our defense wasn't at its best, our offense was pretty dang good. And that's what's been the, the biggest thing about our club this year so far is, you know, if our pitching and defense falters a little bit, then our offense seems to pick us up. And on days where we're not swinging the bats very well, our pitching and defense is there. So we're just finding ways to win uh, in different ways, which is a, a great sign for our club. And hopefully we can continue uh, to remain confident, build upon a huge series win again, and uh, keep playing good baseball. Well, I know our guys compete, you know, and we preach and preach and preach, compete every pitch, and, and we just believe if the game's close, we're going to find a way to win it. But absolutely, I mean, you know, we're up six to nothing, and uh, Hopkins hit the three-run homer. You know, that was, that was when, for me, as a coach, anytime you give up a big inning in a game, um, that's tough. You know as soon as you give up that big inning that they're one strike away, the tying run is in the hole at that point. So instead of it being six to nothing, you know, now if they get, you know, two guys on base, they can tie the ball game. The ball was jumping a little bit today. So, you know, that's where to me, you know, you start getting a little bit concerned as a head coach. That's where you start to feel like we have got to put together some good at bats. And I felt like you could see, you know, the difference in the game was is the back half of the game, their at bats were better. First half of the game, our at bats were better. We needed to find a way to score again later in the game and keep our foot on the gas pedal on offense, and we just couldn't do it. Um, you know, fortunately for us, Logan hit that home run in the sixth inning to give us, uh, you know, another run, our seventh run. And then, you know, at that point, uh, they kept clawing away and clawing away, and they tied the ball game up. But you know, the free 90 is valuable. It is valuable. And when Jolly walked, it gave us a chance. And uh, that was the difference in the game. We gave Wharton one, you know, one good swing and a two-strike count, and he stayed on the baseball and drilled it off the wall. Well, you know, I, I want to um, – I'm glad you asked me about Patrick Cromwell. You know, Patrick Cromwell is a kid uh, that we recruited to come here uh, from across the country. He was our starting third baseman last year. He struggled some offensively for us, and uh, we took him out of the lineup. And he kept his head up. He kept working, kept working. Came back this fall. He was a better player this fall. Found his way into the lineup this year because he earned it. And now look at what he's doing. He is a major offensive contributor for us, right in the heart of our order. You know, hitting between Seth and Chris Williams, doing an unbelievable job, and he is really good defensively at third base for us. So, just that senior that's in his second year in the program, that is a huge. Di that's the difference in our lineup right now is having that guy hit between Seth and Chris uh, that gives us so many good at bats. Um, you know, he's had a couple of huge two out hits for us, two strike hits for us. He's just done a heck of a job for us. Well, Logan gives us team at bats. You know, the, the, the thing that I love about Logan Davidson is, t is Logan will always put the team first when it comes to putting together quality at bats and playing good defense. And, uh, you know, he's going to get hot. You know, hopefully that home run will get him going. But look at the at bats that he had for us this weekend. You know, even though his numbers through 11 games probably aren't what he would want them to be selfishly, from a team perspective, this guy gets on base for us and he scores runs. And that's a big reason why guys like Cromwell, guys like Seth Cromwell and Chris Williams are, are hitting well because Logan gets on base for him. He just has team at bats. And, you know, today he scores three runs for us and drives in two. Uh, he won the MVP of this series for a reason because he continues to fight to get on base to give us a chance to score runs. There was no doubt whatsoever, 100%. We were going with Riley Gilliam. He earned the opportunity to be our closer, and we were going to leave Riley in that situation, yes. So Hawkins started second today, two for three. Uh, he brought Green in late for his defense. He made the air in the ninth. Um, how important is it to get some consistency there at second base? 
Well, we need, we need to develop some consistency there, you know, and, and we've played, you know, three different guys, you know, at second base, and they're all capable of doing really good things for us, and they all kind of bring something different to the table. So really for me, it's just trying to find the right matchup. You know, uh, Hawks got tremendous power. They were starting a left-handed pitcher. He sees left-handed pitching pretty well. Um, needs to continue to get reps at second base to get acclimated to that position because he's always played on the left side of the field. But Greeny's a plus defender. I know he didn't make a couple plays. He also turned a huge double play for us, uh, and he made a nice play to hit the bag at second base to shot up on him that a lot of second basemen don't make. So we have to give Green some credit for some of the plays that he did make today, um, even though you know a couple balls got away from him, which is not going to happen a lot with Jordan. And then Birdie's a really good player too. We just got to try to find a consistent way to get those guys in the game and keep them sharp. And that's what we're trying to do, trying to play. Today, the, the mindset was to play offense early and then play defense late. Thank you, Coach. Yep.